if you listen to any of my messages, um, you will know by now that one of my favorite books in the Bible is the book of Psalms. I think, not I think, I spent more time in the book of Psalms than any other, and any other, any other book. Why? Because of its rawness, of its, of its, um, it brings, it brings truth, not truth, but not because of its rawness, of its authenticity, of its, it, 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 it it doesn't hide things. It doesn't hide the pain. It tells you exactly what it is. Um, I'm not explaining myself well, but there we are. But for instance, I mean, if you look at the Psalm chapter 60, and this is David crying out after he had been uh, he had he had fought the uh, Edomites. He had fought the Edomites. He comes crying to God in verse 1 to 3. He says, You have rejected us, God, and broken our defenses. You've been angry with us. Now restore us to your favor. You have shaken our land and split it up and seal the cracks for the land trembles. He says, You have been very hard on us, making us drink wine that sent us really. That's what I love about it. It doesn't. It shows you that you can come to God with all your real passions and exactly how you feel. You don't need to hide anything when you come to God. And yet, in all your crying, in all your desperation, in your frustrations, in all your pain, always include but. This is God, this is what is happening to me. This is where I am. But this is what David always does. It's always a pattern in, 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 in the book of Psalms. And that's why I love it. And he says, but in verse 4, he says, but you have raised manna for those who fear you. A rallying point in the face of attack. Now rescue your beloved people. Answer and save us by your power. I just love that. I love that it tells us that I don't need to pretend. I don't need to, I don't need to fake it. You know, when I'm having situations of my own, I can tell God, this is where I am, God. I'm not going to say, oh, God, I am trying. And I said, no, God, I am failing, and this is where I am. And yet, your word says that there is no sin that will overcome us. Your word says that you are with us even to the very end. Your word says that your righteous right hand will guide me even in my old age. Your word says your word says that's my butt so what are you going through today what's what's your situations where are your frustrations where are your failings let's today be brutally honest to god and tell him these god are my enemies whether whatever addiction that you're going through whether it's anger whether it's poverty whether it's pornography whether it's lust whether it's gossip whatsoever situation that you're going through you bring it to god and say god this is where i am but you said through your son jesus christ i am safe you said that you always give me a way out you say that you've made me stronger than all of this. And that's what we need to do. Verse 11 and 12, just to finish up, it says, Have you rejected us as God? No, sorry. From verse 11, it says, Oh, please help us against our enemies. Our enemies are, could be the external ones that are coming against us, and yet could be those internal ones that we fight in. And he says, For all human help is useless. Acknowledging that on my own, God, I cannot make it. And yet, with God's help, we will do mighty things, for he will trample down our foes. Our foes today, with God's help, we will do mighty things. These addictions, these failures, these weaknesses, these, this circle of life that we keep going in, it will end if we submit ourselves to God. Cry out to him, tell him truthfully what you are going through, and include your butt and remind him what God has said about your situation. God bless you.